Good morning, good morning. I'm a slow morning person. I have to admit, I sit in bed for quite a while because it's the warmest spot in the house <laughs> and it's also the brightest spot. But one thing that I do do, that I do do <laughs> every morning is I take a big glass of water and I look out the window for a while and I just sit here and take in the new day. Apparently it's important to let a couple of hours pass between you waking up and you having any sort of caffeine or tain in the morning. And water really helps you feel more awake. And I have noticed that now I crave the glass of water and I crave looking out the window and just having some light. I wake up when the sun's already coming out, so I always have the chance to soak in the light a little bit. I've just started reading a new book called The Artist's Way. It's a program for you to find a connection to your creativity. The language is very specific. It's, it's a bit juju. <laughs> uh, it's not the type of language I generally connect with, but I do think that it will be useful. And one of the first tasks it gives you is to write the morning pages. And the morning pages are three pages that you, every morning without a fail, sit down to write. And it's about whatever. It can be a brain dump, it can be complaining, you can be talking about whatever insecurity is going through your mind at the moment there's no judgment it doesn't matter and it's not for you to go back on it's not like a diary it's just for you to kind of get out of the way she talks about how the author talks about if you kind of allow yourself to write these three pages about whatever it triggers your creative mind to feel like more empowered in a way or to come forward I think I struggle with exercises that have to do with writing because I judge myself a lot. I'm really harsh on myself when I'm writing. I very easily get into my self-conscious state instead of just letting it go. And what she says is not going back, not reading through it, at least not the first weeks. I think that's going to be really important because if not, I start thinking about how I'm writing things, if it's an eloquent way to put things, if it's truly what I'm experiencing in the moment. I tend to take myself too seriously. <laughs> so I don't want to do that with this. I want to just do the exercise, write the three pages, whatever comes to mind, and get on with my day. having breakfast in bed mm -hmm. together, which is a rarity. It's normally me <laughs> and you have breakfast on your own. But yeah, we're having this delicious banana bread that I made yesterday. I followed a Nora Cook's recipe. I'll put it in the description. And then I put a bit less sugar, added cinnamon, chia seeds, poppy seeds. She gives the option of putting walnuts or chocolate chips. And I put a little bit of chocolate chips, but not a lot. It's like a surprise once in a... <laughs> <laughs> Once every five bites, you get a chocolate chip. <laughs> I love these slow mornings. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to work on the next video, which is all about what we spend in a month here living off grid in, in Spain gone through the video planning i'm really excited like when we have a, a concept and it's thought out and it's organized it just yeah it's fun now i'm gonna respond to comments because we posted yesterday and that's one thing i haven't tackled yet but for us the weekend starts on sunday because since we post on saturdays we we try to sometimes we get delayed and we post on on sundays but since we post on saturdays the hope would be that we would have it already ready during the week and then we just schedule it for Saturdays, but it has never ever worked out. We're always working till the last minute on the video stuff. So Saturdays are kind of gone. So yeah, just to clarify, today is Sunday. Yesterday we posted our one year on YouTube video and it's gotten a lot of comments and the comments are so lovely so far. Everything I've seen, it's really heartwarming. So I'm gonna take some time to respond to people because yeah, I really want to. Let's meet some of you guys on there. I have a hard time expressing. Like, I don't know what to say except thank you. So if you see me kind of repeating myself with a thank you, I truly mean it. I just don't know how else I could say, like, you know, to express this feeling of like, 
thank you for getting us thank you for seeing us and appreciating what we're trying to do and our yeah, our honesty and stuff being vulnerable just struggling to find the words but i'm really really grateful today house for a little bit. I also need to get the sunscreen. Let me not forget. Popcorn is our favorite low waste snack. It's really yummy, simple, and cheap. Cheap. This is the only way you should eat popcorn. <laughs> no. No. Like your life depends on it. That's how you should eat popcorn. Ah, uh, uh, only way. Yeah, we've come to our land. We actually only live 10 minutes away. Not even. Yeah, but we barely ever come. We're gonna come more in spring when we have to do stuff here, but for now, there's not much to do, but... We had to come. Yeah, there was a really bad windstorm a couple of days ago. Like, really, really bad. I think one of the worst. Luckily, on the home we're living now, there wasn't a lot of damage. The mm. only thing is a couple of fallen trees, mm. uh, but outside our property. And then we lost all data and phone connection for two days. <laughs> yeah, and still, it's it hasn't come and now back. it hasn't come back it's like at, at stages but in our land it might be worse we've come to check we, we're just looking at it from afar and we've already seen a couple of fallen trees yeah. so let's see let's see what the damage is i hope it's not too bad the nice news is that we have some cute little cows here and they're so adorable when i hug them they're so, a rhino cow they're super scared of us yeah. yeah they're so yeah they're really afraid of humans understandable but yeah let's go up and see how things are are you coming to say hi Come. Hi baby, are you coming to say hi? We're nice people, I swear. Okay, we can already see that we've lost the electricity. Yeah. The tree next to one of our cabins has fallen. Two of them, yeah, but the one that has fallen next to our cabin has broken the electricity. Pool. Yeah, it didn't fall towards the cabin, which I guess is a, a positive, but it has broken the electricity pole. That's so dangerous, no? <laughs> that could mean a fire. Maybe we caused the blackout. <laughs> There was a blackout in this valley. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, we didn't cause it. It's the no. wind one. The cabin is missing stones up there, babe. Yeah, true. Okay. Shit. Okay. So as you can see here, the tree has fallen down and at the same time has hit the electricity pole and that has pushed down the wires and this box, the electricity box that was attached to our home and this is the only electricity connection we have, has pulled out the whole stone where it was attached to. So now the wall is missing a stone. I'm just crazy glad that it hasn't taken down the whole wall. It could have been so much worse, but that's nuts. Okay, so I need to take care of this. There's been a casualty, and this is not of the wind, and this is something we were aware of. But our baby lemon tree has been eaten by goats. <laughs> they left nothing, huh? No. Like they ate the bark. Holy moly. Okay, we've been super lucky that this big tree that's next to the cabin hasn't fallen or had any damage because as you can see it's huge and it could really cause a lot of damage. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull out this tree a bit because it's gotten too big and then this one is dead clearly and it's starting, I don't know what happened here but it's like thinner in the middle of it up there so we just have to kind of push it over and I think that one in between is also dead, I have to check it now. This one we know won't survive because all this rot will 
will eventually get to it. But yeah, the tree cutting session will have to continue on this property soon. This one luckily has zero damage, which was the biggest risk because of the trees next to it, so... How nice is it to be here? Even seeing all the things we need to do now and add to our to-dos, I'm happy here. I love this spot so much. Yeah. And it will take us, again, years till we can make anything of it. But it's such a beautiful place. We've lost the third one. Oh my goodness. Again, we're so lucky it didn't fall on the house. This one looks quite okay, but that one is gonna fall over as well. There's yeah, it's also half dead. Completely hollow inside. Yeah, we're losing a lot of trees. We need to replace them. I am so happy. It's gorgeous, huh? I forget how pretty this place is. I know the place we're living in now is much more striking, but there's something here that's just good vibes. Yeah. Good vibes. Which is weird, because the history of the person before, before us, like that actually lived here last, it's quite sad. <laughs> but the place is just, it's so special. Oh, I see another tree that's fall over. Another tree? Oh yeah, another tree. Four. Four, damn it. We've added some to-dos. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the most urgent thing is electricity, no? I don't know. I, I hope it's not connected to anything. But yeah, yeah we, we need, need to, to check. cut the trees. Every time we start doubting about what we're doing, because, you know, this is going to take really long. And once in a while, you're like, what have we gotten ourselves into? We come back, we walk around and we remember. <laughs> it's, it's such a magical spot. It has something so magical. Special. 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 It just feels so tranquil, so nice, so peaceful. And you don't really look at the views either. Like no. You just look at the land here. What it's... I love here is the feeling of like the three cabins together and then the other one. I don't know, it feels cozy. The little swampy area it looks much better now that it's not as swampy, although there's still a lot of accumulation of water everywhere in yeah. our land. Yeah, there's the water enough. Right? Yeah, we have like <sighs> six sources of water what do you yeah, call springs. water springs yeah. and we're following what locals recommend to get the land sano like healthy yeah. as they call it to still have the water but then to use it in a better yeah. a better way and not have it all just mushy and we haven't shown you much of the land because we'll have to come back in spring and then we're probably on gonna work on the land the main thing that needs to be done is fix the leaks of the roofs mm -hmm. there are multiple roof leaks and yeah it needs to be fixed sooner rather than later and cutting up the trees to make sure that if there's more storms we don't have more damage we don't have more damage i'm so glad we pull out our trees in the other house yeah. if something like that would have happened there it would terrible take... i'm really really glad we did what we did when we did it you are smart people <laughs> a little bit it might look like we don't know anything but we do we... know a little bit and we research a lot <laughs> we're gonna go spend some time with friends that's what we tried to do on days off and then we'll go back home and catch back up with you. Yeah, so see you then. Second try. Ali had already recorded almost the whole part of this video, but then put it in the wrong settings again. Because why not? Sorry. But anyway, we came back. We had a lovely tea with our well, neighbors. Tea it was like hours and hours. It was four hours of talking. We don't see people very often, but when we do, we yeah. chat. Yeah, we properly chat. So that was really nice. It was a very nice day. Now the wind is picking up again, yeah. but it's quite light compared to the other day. Till tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be bad? Tomorrow's gonna be bad. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna end the evening by making a nice dinner together. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make arepas? Yeah, uh, not, not really non, arepas. Non-traditional like arepas. We make like arepa base and then make it like a sort of pizza. Yeah. I think we've shown it before. Yeah. Yeah, it's really yummy. And because we don't have vegan cheese from the supermarket, I'm going to try and make vegan cheese for the first time. I have to get this big tub of potato starch. <laughs> oh, God. I had to order this weird ingredient that I couldn't find almost anywhere, which is like kappa caragenina. And let's hope it makes a lot of cheeses because... It looks like a lot. It was pricey. <laughs> the rest of the ingredients are relatively easy we have them all so mm -hmm. let's see let's see if it works out I'm, I'm really excited <laughs> it's so good no 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 I really love, love cauliflower like this crunchy
Good morning. Okay, it's actually almost good afternoon. <laughs> it's quite late in the morning. We had a very different plan for today. We wanted to take another day off, have a two-day weekend this week, and go on a nice hike, take some time to enjoy some free time outside, maybe do some work on the land. But the weather's not cooperating. Yesterday evening, the wind started to pick up. It hasn't been a really bad windstorm, but enough wind that it caused issues with the fireplace again. We checked the weather all around in case we could go somewhere to take a walk on the beach or something but it's even worse at the coast so it's just a day to be inside spend the morning kind of taking care of different things we are planning to go up to the Netherlands to so drive up to the Netherlands soon in case you didn't know we used to live there so we still have a lot of our stuff with family we want to go to pick that up and also to buy some secondhand things that we need for this house like we need tools yeah, we need tools <laughs> we also need furniture and stuff but tools is a big one and we get comments all the time like oh you should buy this you should buy that and you know of course we know we know we need tools they're just very very expensive and we don't have the budget right now and also we try to get things as sustainably as possible and for us that normally means that we try to get things secondhand however Spain doesn't have a really good secondhand market people don't sell that much and when they do it's normally really really high prices like the same or more than you could buy it new so yeah here it doesn't really make Makes sense but in the Netherlands there are much more options to buy secondhand things we've spent the morning doing that looking at stops along the way like make it a bit of a fun road trip so it's not always go 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 do 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 okay okay it's lunchtime first i hope the lighting is okay it's quite dark so we've had to put in like our studio light and all the lights around to try look like we're in the daytime but yeah we're going to make some cauliflower soup with the leftover cauliflower stems that we have they're now in the oven with some garlics to roast and then we're pressure cooking some potatoes and then we'll blitz that all together with some spices to accompany that we're going to make some vegan cheese quesadillas this is the cheese that we made yesterday. It doesn't look exactly like the video, but it has a nice consistency, I'll, I'll say that. I do wanna work on the recipe because I think first it doesn't have enough spices. It doesn't taste a lot like much. It doesn't taste like cheese, let's just be honest. <laughs> it does not taste, taste like cheese, but the consistency is good, which I like that. And, I, and supposedly it's meltable, so now we'll see with the quesadillas if that's true. And then the second thing is that it has coconut oil in the recipe. For our cheese recipe, I for sure would get coconut oil that has like been how do you say that I don't know I don't know, I don't know. you take the coconut taste out I don't know if we can try with other co with other oils in the future like less tasty oils because I think perhaps what coconut does it has the meltability factor that it goes like it can be solid and then melt and yesterday when it was melty from coming out of the thing the texture was kind of gooey I don't know I liked it so let's see how how the melting now goes it doesn't melt per se. No, no. But pretty. it does get like softer and gooey. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be nice. Yeah. It looks so yummy. Smells good too. Yeah. Mm, nice. Okay, and now the piece de resistance tastes like nothing. <laughs> tastes like nothing. <laughs> this cheese needs a lot of work. By itself, it tasted like a bit more, but now with this, tastes like nothing. Tastes like really cheap cheese. Yeah, we'll work on it, we'll work on it. <laughs> Yesterday after we arrived back from the land, the wind started again. It was so intense again, but now it came from the other side. And I just went out for a walk at the end of the day and the whole roof of the sauna has been blown. <laughs> not only the roofing, luckily, not the support structure underneath. It's definitely something I'll need to tackle right away because that's not good. You hear it dribbling inside. A lot so I thought we had fixed it a couple of weeks ago but clearly not. I had hoped that the temporary structure we put was going to be sufficient for the upcoming months because normally we shouldn't have storms like this around this time of the year only in autumn but clearly not. I don't know what has happened but <laughs> the extremes are extreme. We had like full sun two weeks ago till one week ago. It was amazing weather. Way too warm for January and now all of a sudden we got a storm multiple days in a row and things really broke so. I fixed it, but as you can see, didn't fix it very well. Still waiting for us to go to the Netherlands to get all the tools I need and all the nails and screws I need. But it's definitely something that needs to happen because the wood boards that hold the roofing up are rotten. So they don't really do much anymore. And then the roofing itself is just not good. 
at least what I'm gonna do now is turn the sauna on so I can dry inside because yeah some moist has come in and I think it would be a good idea to just dry it out and maybe because of that we can also just have a sauna evening use the sauna for a little bit why not it feels like the perfect moment because I, I need the warmth. I've okay. been cold all day. Good. I'm excited. And the sauna needs the warmth as well. Let's go in. Okay. Go. Oh, it's crazy what a little bit of warmth can do, not to change your everything. <laughs> I can't believe I'm giving up steam. I love you, Mom. I was just thinking, oh my god, what if the farmer see me running? Then Cookie appeared. <laughs> You're very wet. Where did you stay today? Are you inside? Come, let's get you some food. Oh, I love you so much. You're so cute. You stink, but you're so cute. Okay, shall we go again? It's not 80 degrees now. It's a bit much for me. I'm sweating so much. It's good though, it's so nice. I feel much better. I'm like constantly on edge that a farmer like Kiko is on the other side. Like <laughs> Just looking. looking at my... Well, it's naked. <laughs> well, it's naked. I'm not. <laughs> Too big of a risk. <laughs> That's the thing of this property. It's really beautiful, but it's a bit more exposed. It's extremely exposed. We chose our land because we wanted to be able to be in our property feeling like it was completely ours. And here in this house, it's really nice. Like, we love it. But it is next to other cabañas. We look terrible. The color of our skin. Look at this. Full <laughs> color one to swatch this. <laughs> no, we really don't mean we really need to go to a warm place soon yeah. and enjoy some sun. I think I'm gonna do another uh, another run. Yeah, I run there before. Oh, you run? Yeah, just ah, uh, no, you know, no, Phoebe, no. Phoebe style. Yeah, go. <laughs> there you can see that I'm not capable of jumping or running. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That was so mean. Way to make me feel self-conscious. <laughs> no, no, go away. You are you're so mean. If the neighbors are watching us, we're gonna have a name. There's one guy standing naked in front of a hut, and then the other one is running around half naked on the field in winter. They're also gonna be shocked because there's not that many women here in the valley. No, no, you're gonna give people a heart attack, then. Dinner's ready. Some simple noodles, soupy noodles with bok choy. These mushrooms, I love these mushrooms. Rehydrated, they're so yummy. And then just what we had. Some garlic, some ginger, red pepper, carrot. Really nice, I love this. Oh, you do? Oh. We weren't expecting to film today because weekend three days, you know, but because yesterday was not that exciting, we worked part of the day and today the weather is beautiful and we might go on a walk. We thought we'd bring you along as well. So is it a weekend vlog? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's all to say. Good morning. I look like shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> I find breakfast the hardest meal of the day. I don't feel like eating sweet stuff. So today we're going to make a salty breakfast. I'm going to make a vegan chickpea flour frittata and that's something I used to make quite a lot and I haven't made it in a while and it's really easy and you can put whatever vegetables you want and spices as well whatever spices you want. I'll put the recipe in the description. So I put one cup of chickpea flour, one teaspoon baking powder, some Italian herbs around a teaspoon, one quarter to half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one fourth of a teaspoon a bit less of the kala namak salt. So you'll see that all recipes for vegan frittatas online call for you using 
using I think what is called kala namak which is like a black salt that gives it an eggy taste. We bought it a couple of years ago it was difficult to find in the Netherlands back then and it was kind of pricey and we barely use it to be honest. I know some vegans use it a lot because they want the eggy taste I don't need it so it's really depending what you want but it's not necessary I don't think. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin, a little bit of ground paprika, a little bit of salt, a little bit of turmeric like half a teaspoon a bit less than half a teaspoon, some ground pepper, a bit of nutritional yeast I put like a couple of teaspoons of tablespoons I think, some chili powder and one tablespoon of neutral oil. Once all the dry ingredients have been mixed and, and stirred really properly so that there are no clumps I add half a cup of a plant-based milk and half a cup of water. You can substitute some of the water with vegan yogurt but we don't have any of that. One thing I always like to add to the frittatas and almost anything to be honest is some deep green like kale is my favorite or spinach but we don't have any so I thought why don't we walk around the property and try forage for some nettle. Nettle is really healthy for you if you steam it or you boil it with stuff you can just eat it as if it were spinach and we should have some around although it's not really seasoned for nettle I'm sure I can find some so then I put all the chopped up veggies in a pan and then add the wet mixture on top and put it in the oven. Making a new friend we've never seen you before. Il va ja bonito. Ok, bye. No, they're afraid of you, baby. Unfortunately, they're afraid of us. So we were just talking about how it's been one whole year since we moved here to look for a home. Just February last year we were on the other side of the mountain. The pink house. Talking about how even if we didn't find our dream spot, it would be a good base for us to have yeah. and a beautiful place to come back to. Even if we didn't find the perfect spot for us, we could still find something that's nice enough to have, which is good. Like then we could invest in something even if, if we don't find our spot, which gives me hope because mm -hmm. then it's not wasted time completely, I hope. I think it's a good spot to come home to. We did it. We did it. We found a base. We found a home. Fun is over. Yeah, now we're gonna work the rest of the day. We'll see you next week. Ciao.